Hey everyone and welcome back to Isabel's Interviews. My name is Isabel Welch and today we're here interviewing Tammy Berkeley at Merrick Construction. Merrick Construction is based out of Lakewood, Washington, and we had the privilege of meeting with the owner, Tammy Berkeley. Merritt has built many local projects in our community, such as the Tacoma Dome, Porsche of Tacoma, local schools, and much more. I was able to learn so much, and we hope you enjoy. Hi, everyone. This is Tammy Berkeley from Merritt Construction. If you could start off by telling us a little bit about your story. Sure. I have been in construction for, I'll just say, more than 20 years. I started with another construction firm um, in Redmond and then came down here into this firm in 2007. In 2014, I became a partner. And in 2020, I bought the company outright and own it now as the sole owner. So what advice would you give to an aspiring business owner or someone trying to own I think that it's important to surround yourself with people that believe in you, that know more than you do, that uh, can certainly provide you advice, but can also be your cheerleaders. You, you need to set yourself up with a mentor that understands what you're trying to accomplish, that has more time within the industry. Um, and then my, my personal things that I used in my life were uh, loyalty, working hard, mm -hmm. keeping your, your head down, nose down, just trying to um, make whatever company that you're working within better. Do you have like a specific mentor that you would want to talk about like, in your business? Yes, I, I've had two. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, both are men. And the first one was Roger Collins, who was the owner of Sierra Construction. Um, I worked for him for seven years, and before working with him, I had absolutely no experience in construction, just in accounting, and he was incredibly generous with his time and um, put a lot of energy into helping me learn as much as I could about the business. And the second one would be Len Zarelli, who has been my partner for many years here, and, and again, has always invested in me, believed in me, demonstrated to me that I could do things that were hard, that I was afraid to do, but I always had him there that I could ask if I needed something. Um, I think that's why it's so important to have a mentor, is you have the ability to be brave, but still have the security of someone who has your back. All right, so what is it like being a woman in a male-dominated field such as construction? Um, I think that in my past, uh, earlier in my career, it, it maybe was more impactful and more noticeable. I think what, what I've tried to do is focus on having the right men around me in this male-dominated field, um, men that were willing to invest in me, lift me up, encourage me, and, and build me up. Um, and then it, it doesn't make any difference whether you're a man or a woman. It, it makes a difference simply that you're, you're giving your best to the company and that they're reinvesting back into you. And would you suggest going into a male-dominated field as a woman for anyone? Yeah, I think the important thing to recognize, especially today, um, is that no one owns any field. No mm -hmm. matter what field you're interested in, um, whether it's medical, it's, it's law or it's construction. What I would recommend is going into whatever it is you're interested in, giving it your all and um, making it your own mm -hmm. field and then encouraging others, again, whether they're male or women, um, each lifting each other up, working together, working to each other's strengths and being a team. Do you believe college is a necessary tool when going into this field of work? I think that there are definitely particular roles within this company that it can be very helpful for you to have a degree. Mm -hmm. I think that a degree and schooling, education for that matter, are important in, in most jobs. Mm -hmm. I also believe um, that the most important thing in this field is to come up through the field. For instance, if you want to be a superintendent, which is leading a, a project, it's important to you have, for you to have become 
uh, first a laborer and then a carpenter and mm -hmm. then a foreman. At each step, you, you gain new skills. They can't teach those skills in school. And when I hire someone, my first question is never, do you have a degree? My first question is, what experience do you have? Have you worked in the field? Have you built a building? Those are the things that matter to me. Um, those are the things that help us in what we do. And so I believe that education combined with field experience mm -hmm. is success in this mm -hmm. particular field. Mm -hmm. So in your experience, has your education impacted your ability to be where you are now? Um, I think no. I think not at all. In fact, I, I don't have a degree. Mm -hmm. I, um, all of my experience has been on-the-job practical experience. A very long time ago, um, got a business certificate um, and have gone to Green River, mm -hmm. you know, um, with the equivalent of like an AA uh, degree. But none of those things came into play in my career. Um, the people that, that I believed in, that I stayed with so that I could learn everything I could from them, those are the people that got me where I am. And that hard work, um, perseverance, um, and grit, those are the things that mm -hmm. you know prepared me to be a, a business owner. Right. So what is the best marketing tool that you've used to help market your company? We had a great campaign that we did in uh, 2020, which was when I first took over the company. And we really wanted to identify to everyone on the outside, but even more so everyone on the inside. Our message was that we are built on character. Right. And so we had this time where everyone got to first tell, what does, what does character mean to you? Every employee got to share that and share that with the rest of the employees. We took professional photos where everyone had an opportunity for um, to have their picture and then their character statement behind them. Mm -hmm. And we shared those things out on social media so people could understand who we were and what did it mean that we were built on character. Mm -hmm. We also brought some of our very long term, we have some um, subcontractors that we work with that have been together with us literally for the entire 65 years mm -hmm. we've been working together. So we had those guys come because they are part of what is built on character. Mm -hmm. um, so they also got to share in that and it was a way that we got to make them feel more than just our subcontractor, but part of our team. Mm -hmm. We're so proud of you and we're so proud mm -hmm. of who you are. We wanna share your story and what character means to you on social media. So what it ended up doing is just really building us together as a team um, and sort of like really enjoying the fact that we were part of a company that's built on character. Mm -hmm. And they, like I said, they got to share what that meant to them. Mm -hmm. And of course, get really excited about sharing that with their families once we post it on social media. So it's just something that that um, got them really excited to work here as well. And I think being an employer of choice is one of the most important things to me, which mm -hmm. is like, even when the, the market is really good and they could go anywhere, I want them to stay here. I want them to always choose to be here. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's important to me that they always feel like they're part of something what was something that ended up being easy that you expected to be hard? I think that we, when we first went into COVID, mm -hmm. it was terrifying and we had no idea what it was going to bring for our company. Um, we had to be concerned about our own families. There was just a lot um, to it. It was, it was a very large um, part of everything we were trying to accomplish. And I think that I was, um, very afraid of how it would affect my business, of how it would affect every one of my employees. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess the way that we went through that and came out of it on the other side, um, the fear that I had in the beginning or the concern, um, I believe ended up to be mostly unfounded because I have the kind of employees that I do um, I didn't lose one employee um, to 
taking the unemployment route that a lot of people did because of what was available during that time. Mm -hmm. Every one of my people, regardless of the fear that they had, even Mm -hmm. when someone did get sick, each one of them just kept showing up and kept being um, cheerleaders for each other and encouraging each other and um, making it feel like the hard things were easy. I think it's important that if you have an interest in construction, Mm -hmm. please reach out. Mm -hmm. If it's something you're interested in um, for a career, we're always open to having people come and um, do internships. If there's any questions I can answer. If you have a project that you are interested in doing, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out because we would much rather help you avoid pitfalls than have you come and, you know, try to help us figure out the problem after we can't really change as many things. Right. So um, we're open, you know, we, we would love for anyone to get involved on whatever level. And if we can help you in the community, mm-hmm. if there's a project you'd like us to get involved with or be helpful, um, you know, just most definitely reach out in any of the social media ways or just by that old fashioned telephone. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, We loved your answers and we're super excited and wish you the best in the future. Thank you, it was a pleasure to be here and I enjoyed chatting with you. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Isabel's Interviews to stay tuned.